Hi again, everyone. I'm Trish Triamphal Sullivan, and I'm going to talk to you briefly about white balance um, and how it affects our photographs. So white balance means that there are different colors in light. So the one that we are most familiar with, right, is sunshine. Sunshine we consider to be white light, right? It's white. And to our eyes, sunshine looks the most natural of all the types of light. Um, and that's why sometimes in our photographs, they have weird colors in them, and we don't quite understand how we got that weird, like yellow or, or green color in our photograph. It's because we haven't set the white balance on our cameras properly. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So sunshine is kind of our benchmark, right? Sunshine is the presence of all colors. Um, so white balance is pretty much based on the color of the sun. And when you're looking up white balance in your camera, you'll probably have to go to your menu. Um, very few cameras actually have little dials on the outside anymore um, because they're all digital. And so you'll go into a menu and you'll see something called white balance. And it's often, um, it's often represented by these kind of icons. So you'll see that there's different little icons. So this one is what? Sunshine, right? If you see something like this, that would mean cloudy. If you see something like this, This would mean tungsten. Right, that's a, like a light, the regular old fashioned light bulbs are called tungsten lights, right? If you saw something like this, usually they'll have little like lights, rays around them so you know. This would be fluorescent. Um, and you might even have on, uh, on your white balance, you might even have something that looks like this, right? Which would be, you guessed it, candlelight. So white balance is very important if you want the color in your photograph to come out properly. Um, so uh, different light sources will give you different colors, right? The sun is like the perfect light source because it's totally white, white light. And this is what we would consider normal to our eyes. Now, when you go with cloudy, it might change the color of the light a little bit, it might make it slightly more blue right, just because it's bouncing around in the atmosphere and around all those clouds. Um, but it still doesn't change it that much, and that's usually okay. Where it really is important is when we come to the indoor lights, tungsten, fluorescent, and candlelight. Tungsten light tends to be more yellow. So when you have a photograph that looks kind of yellow, it's probably because you didn't change the setting, your white balance setting in your camera. So if you're indoors and you know that the light source is tungsten, which is those old fashioned screw in bulbs, right? You want to go into your menu and change your setting for, t for tungsten light. You wanna make sure that you change it, uh, change it select that icon um, so that you're able to, to your camera will correct for that, for that yellow. If you've ever taken a photograph that looks really yellowish, it's because you've taken it in tungsten light and not changed the, the icons, okay? So these are all icons that are in your camera. Um, usually they've used the little pictures instead of, these little pictures or icons instead of the words, but you might have a camera that actually says the words like tungsten, fluorescent, candlelight, cloudy sun, etc. cetera. Um, if you've ever had a photograph that turned out kind of green or bluish, 
um, you've, you've got fluorescent light, right? That tends to be more blue-green. Um, and that, that cast, that bluish green kind of cast is because that's the color of light coming out of the fluorescent fixture and fluorescent fixtures are pretty common and they're very unflattering. Um, so you definitely want to, um, to change your, your icon, your white balance to fluorescent. If you know you're going to be photographing a fluorescent lights, usually they're those long tube lights. Although nowadays we have a lot of fluorescent lights that are screw in as well. Um, and then finally candlelight. Um, candlelight is really yellow. So it's, it's uh, super yellow. Um, and uh, it'll definitely cast a kind of yellow or orange, orange glow. Um, and so you definitely want to select according to the light conditions that you're going to be shooting in. It's really important. Now see, our brain and our amazing bodies, um, our brain actually compensates for this because our brain tells us, we know if we see a white piece of paper, right? If our brain sees a white piece of paper, we know it's a white piece of paper. It doesn't matter where it is, whether it's in the sun or whether it's in tungsten or fluorescent light, right? So our brain compensates for that and our brain, um, the, the message that our eyes send to our brain, our brain changes a little bit. So what we perceive like a white piece of paper in an indoor fluorescent or tungsten still looks white to us, right? It looks white. But then when we take the photograph with our camera, we see this yellowish or blue green kind of filter on it. And then we're like, what in the world? It, the photograph looks sick. Nobody looks blue or green, you know? My, my grandma doesn't look yellow, right? So this is where you wanna make sure that you change your icon um, for that because our brain compensates for us, right? Our brain helps us perceive it correctly, but we have to tell our camera what to do. And that's part of seeing like a camera. See you in the next lecture.